advantage. Contact in the air. Another penalty for the Quins. Okay. Um, was interfered with in the air there, but Danny Kerr is very much keeping his feet on the floor. That's lovely from Smith. Look at the, the angle on it. Over. And David! That's the Quinn's way. It is a delight to watch. It's a brilliant piece of skill, but also the way he kicks it as well. So, so he far. deliberately hits it off his foot so that it spins forwards. David doesn't have to break stride. Really, really good score. Use it, please. Just hold in front. Dropping a little deeper there, Rob Dupree. And his opposite number, Marcus Smith. Has a little check to see what Murley is offering. He's looking for a bounce. And that bounce goes Carpenter's way. And that's a lovely skip and step out of that. Tried to take his own little chip ahead. That could go anywhere. The referee's looking for a knock on. He's waving them on. And away goes James. Looks good to me. I think Tommy Allen knocked it forward with this chip here. As you say, Marcus Smith putting a really great chip in. Unfortunately, when you put in an attacking kick like that, sometimes it goes the other way. Yeah, that's a good try for me. Got there in the end, Hammond did well from Must Throw. Smith to Murley! There's the gap, here's March, and that's beautifully worked. Are well, they about to score another cracker here? It's Kerr spinning it out. The hands are gone, the feet are gone. It's Smith. The Harlequins are very good. Takes them into half time. So he scored on in great shape. Mr. Hazen standing tall. Broke his hand against Wales in July. Okay, advantage offside. If it's well set with Tui Lange today. Never onside. A lot of easy penalties as well, soft ones, really. I mean, again, this is Bevan Rod, so Marcus Smith has an opportunity to add another three points. Smith taking on the kick, and that's why. All important first score, second half. Use it. Peter, watch them. And talk to the coaches in the week, Tabai Matson very honestly said that there has been anxiety in the Quinns camp this week on the back of how it went last week. Timing. So well beaten by Leicester. And showing Sale the way how to beat Quinns. They knew that. Sale knew that. Here's David again. And this time. It's the home side who get the referee's whistle the on their the ball, side. Yeah. He's competing on his the ball didn't come back. And Shot it's called. a case of trading kicks here. It was a really good kick and chase there by Sale. They forced Harlequins to run, didn't, didn't give them time to play kick tennis. And then you can see there Dupree clearly on the ball, lifting the ball and the player. Keep it in the family and keep scoring the points. Feels a bit better for... The boss. That was late by Blue. On that was a late run. challenge, we're hearing. Referee's going to pick that up eight. now. Oh, we might have just let late that develop. Blue Let's see where the it. bounce went. Ooh, Quinn's would have fancied the advantage, but. The mindset they're in, the they'll be perfectly happy with the penalty again. Late on Allen. Now showing the kicking side to his game. Can he keep it going? Oh, yes, he can. And Sale now are requiring three scores. And they've got ten minutes. And that's tough. You have to factor that into the overall conclusion here. The chances that Sale have wasted. Are they going to waste this one? No, it looks like they've got a chance on the far side. They're calling for a forward pass, and the referee has given it. And that started with a try that never was for Tom Roebuck, and he's has ended in the same way. And make no mistake, this is a massive win.